How you doing? I uh, will do a quick explanation video because I forgot to film. I was excited and totally didn't set up camera or nothing. And um, had a little project that I was working on and I filmed the I filmed the first part of it, actually putting it together, forgot to film turning it and finishing. And it's not quite finished, but I want to show what I got. I built the laminate goblets and I don't have anything. I've got some turned beer mugs I've done before, but we do a long stem goblet and I, I never used anything but wood. And so I bought this acrylic blank, a couple of, uh, well, almost a year ago and um, hadn't got around to it because I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to turn acrylic. I didn't know how, and I, I asked several people, how do you, how do you, you know, if you were gonna uh, uh, glue acrylic together, what would you use to grip, to uh, put it together and um, wood to, uh, uh, to acrylic and nobody had an answer for me. So I, uh, just kind of left it on the back burner but now I've got one finished so I'll show you I got this acrylic stem long stem goblet probably holds 12 12 to 15 ounces maybe um, but you can see the acrylic in there really cool um, so let me show you kind of I had a lot of problems turning this this goblet um, this acrylic is not really sturdy and what I normally do is this I leave my 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 plug sticking out the back and I clamp my chuck onto it and I did that with this and when I clamp my chuck on it the acrylic broke and it just fell off the lathe and I couldn't I didn't know what to do I was like well I don't know how I'm gonna turn this and how I'm gonna hollow this out so um, I made you know, around here somewhere I don't know what I did with it now oh it fell hold on ah. I made this plug and uh, essentially it's a little piece of cedar and I took a nice little blank that I had made to make a scotch cup and put a little divot in the end, coned it down and this fit in the end of my blank when it was square and the tailstock fit in there and then I went ahead and rechucked it up where the acrylic had broke, smashed it all together real good, turned it all around, and then right here at the end of this piece of wood, it's a uh, two inch block like this that goes on the end. So right at the end of it, where the chuck went up to it, I ran my parting tool down made a nice new tenon in the wooden section, rechucked it up, and then proceeded to turn. But once round and semi-shaped, I gotta hollow it out. So when I went to hollow, it was, I didn't turn any of this. I only turned this round, this round. This is still square and the bulk is all still here for strength. So when I go to hollow, uh, I had to remove the tailstock, and that's where it gets crazy, because this thing, the, the acrylic is not, it's not very sturdy, so it tends to wobble a lot, and so it did get off center. You can actually see the difference in the sides, right there, especially from here to here, is this did get off center, and so once hollowed out, I was able to sand it so that it actually is round and not thick on one side thin on the other and the only really place you can tell is right there where it's not where it's off centered the bottom came out okay because it was up against the chuck but 
um, once I got that plug, you know, hollowed, once I hollowed out, here's where my, my biggest problem came from. My plug's not big enough. I went to stick it back in there to hold the end so I could finish shaping this and have stability and this wasn't even big enough. And so that's my other problem. So this plug needs to be bigger than this. So that way you can get some stability and pressure on the end and try and keep this from breaking apart. I could probably get this thinner. I don't want to, because I think it looks great now, but um, when turning this, now I used, I sharpened all my tools and this just chipped apart in fragments. I mean, it looks like a clown threw up in my shop, um, but it, it really got ugly. It was chipped out. It, was, it looked like it was worse, worse than any tear out I've ever seen. And so I had to sand a lot. I bet I spent over an hour sanding this alone. Um, and I started at 60 grit just to get the chip out. Went to 100, 180, 220, 320, 400. And all of the pin turners, they go 400. They go all the way up to like 12,000 with micro mesh pads. I don't know why. I didn't have to. After... 400 grit um, just to see how nice it would turn out I put uh, double aught steel wool then four aught steel wool to this and then it I mean it shined just like that with just 400 grit and steel wool and the only thing I missed was one little spot right there there's a little bitty divot right there that I missed in sanding and I didn't see it. It must have been full of dust or something and I didn't catch it. So, uh, but it's hard to find, obviously. And, uh, but 400 grit, four, two aught, four aught steel wool and this. And then I put a little shell of wax friction polish over the whole thing just to seal it in. And this thing is smooth. It looks good. It's amazing looking. Um, probably won't sell these in the shop. This was actually for my wife and I don't really like the shape. I had to, I couldn't get the shape I want in here. Uh, this is a little too square for me. I like a nice rounded bevel in, but you know, with the, with it getting off center and not being able to really, really work with it. Um, just trying to save this because this was a, it was like a $17 one and a half by one and a half acrylic blank. It's one and a half by one and a half by five, I believe, acrylic blank. You know, and they're expensive for 17 bucks and it's a trial thing. And uh, I actually have another one here that I'm gonna try and use. And you see it's a, uh, yeah. Oh, it was uh, 15.79 at uh, Woodcraft, no. What is this at? Rockler. At Rockler, I got this. But, I mean, you can see the pitting in that blank right there. You know, they're not, they're not real, real strong. So, with all this weight of wood on the end, you got to be careful turning because this is going to snap in half. So, we'll see what happens with this one. This one's a, a purple, purple and brown and copper. This one was their peacock color. It's purple, blue, and green. Um, these are her favorite colors, so. But I mean, look at, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, anyway, if you ever need to turn a larger acrylic blank or make something crazy like this, stable on both ends, make a plug, you gotta find a way, cut this down and chuck onto this um, just to, to for keep this from breaking off. It was, it was awful. I don't know why. Let me find the cutoff piece. I'll show that to you. All right. So that's the acrylic tenon. Oh yeah. See this corner is just chipped right off, real bad. So I made a new tenon. This is my new tenon. It was. I'll give it a cut. Here. On here, like that. And so after I made a new tenon. I chucked onto this wood. That's what made it, this kept this in the chuck. If this doesn't, it didn't stay in the chuck before because of that. Now it's in the chuck, it's solid. 
turned out real nice but I got I got some stuff I know how to fix this next time so that won't happen again but overall fun little project uh, wish I'd have filmed it but anyway you guys go make something see ya